All right, I think it's going. I can't see my buttons. Yes, it's recording. All right, I need to start this. Hey, folks, Papa Joe here with you in the kitchen. I, uh, I'm going to do a little with leftovers. Me and Grandma was sitting in there talking and was deciding that we was getting a little bit hungry. I got some uh, boudin here where we had a, we buy it in the bigger thingies. Got some of it left. Boudin is a Cajun rice dish that we happen to like. And uh, we use it for all kinds of things. I like to use it in uh, scrambled eggs for breakfast and that kind of stuff. Uh, they also make it into links like you would get for your bratwurst and stuff. Something like that where you can just throw it on the grill. I like that as well. Or you can just do it something like this, which I've never tried this. So we had a little bit of boudin left. I got some mashed taters from a few nights ago. So I'll throw them in there. Let's see. I'm going to grab my cigarette. You don't see in the background. Here's a bread uh cake type thing grandma made it was sugar free kind of liked it so well, unfortunately we didn't have any ice cream to go with it but you know we'll get by now i'm not doing any kind of particular ratio here other than using what i have so we'll see where it goes this might be a flop, or it might be a success. I don't know. We shall see. But regardless of what it comes out at, somehow I'll be able to salvage it and make something out of it. That's just how I am. I didn't get to be a big boy by letting food go to waste. Now I am going to... Uh, Incorporate eggs into it. This is uh, going to be as a binder. Should this creation work. If it doesn't work. Then I'll add a couple more eggs. And I'll turn it into a scrambled dish. Throw it on a tortilla type meal. Can't help it. And around here, when you crack an egg or use any kind of meats, we don't just wipe our hands on our towels because we don't want to cross-contaminate stuff. So we go and wash up right quick, just rinse your hands off. It ain't like you got to do a whole lot of soap and water and scrub and sing happy birthday or any of that nonsense. I want to get this mixed in pretty good. Actually, it's looking like it might turn out pretty decent. And two eggs just might work just fine. I wish it was a little more sticky than this. Huh. So now I'm raking my brain trying to figure out how I can make it a little more sticky. I'm debating on adding a little bit of flour to it. Let's see. We don't use a lot of flour, although we just picked up a little bit the other day. 
Baby, do we have any flour other than this new bag? No, it's got to have something else. If it won't stay on the pork, it ain't thick enough for what I want. So I know I can add some flour, and by the time the egg cooks, the flour will have incorporated itself and cooked with it. I've got three eggs out, and as you can see, I did not use all three of them. I used two of them. And I want to go a little bit light with my flour. Let's try that. We knew during this quarantine, quarantine time that we were going to do a little bit of bacon we had a particular dish in mind that we're gonna need flour for i don't remember what it was we're talking about uh, that is why we wound up buying regular sugar and regular flour which we haven't bought in several months well come on just a little bit it is one of them things where it won't want to come out slowly, and then when it does come out, it'll give me too damn much. I hate it when that happens. That's stiffening up a little bit. Now, I could be adding a little bit of cornmeal to this as well. Let's see how that's going to act. Not much better, is it? A little better. One more time, and then I'm just going to make it, make it work. That's it. That's all I'm going to add to it. I don't want no more than that. If that don't work, I'll make something else work. this egg up. So, what I'm going to wind up doing This is a no stick skillet. Pick up some of my trash. Get rid of it. Put this over here. Now I don't know how the light's going to do y'all over here. I'm going to Set you right there. You can see the skillet fine. Just like so. I'll try to aim this light over there a little bit better. For what that's worth. Now. Let's see here. I am debating. I know I'll need a spatula. I might want that bigger one. Right there is about the kind of 
spoon I want. What I'm going to do is let my skillet get a little bit hot. I think I want a little bit of oil in there. So I'm going to, I ain't going to deep fry them, but I am going to fry them something like you would an egg. So I've got a little oil in there to help out. While that is starting to get hot, let me get out our fancy china. This is our fancy china. Look at there, you can't get much more fancy than that. Now there's a lot of stuff I could do to go with this. I think we have some leftover chili in there. I could warm it up and put it over the top of them. Or not. But I don't think I need to. Alright, I'm watching it and you can tell by looking at your grease when it's starting to get hot. You can take a little pinch of flour and drop in there and see how it reacts. You can take a little drop of water and put it in there to see how it reacts. Or you can just kind of wait and feel it and see how it reacts. If you feel it too close, you'll see how you react. But yeah, that's starting to warm up. Here in a minute, I'll be having to turn my heat way down. I've started on like eight out of a 10 count. I started on eight. And I'll probably wind up turning it down to like three or something. And this ain't nothing fancy at all. Something for me to do, something for you to do. So now, since it didn't make a stick together like I wanted to, I'm going to just take a spoonful. Oh yeah, you hear that sizzling? <coughs> now yeah, I'll just start turning it down. First I'll go down to five. And it looks like I'll be able to get like three of them in here. And worst case scenario is it is leftovers. So if this all just goes to heck in a hand basket, I won't be losing much if I have to throw it away. I want that up a little more than that. I'm turning back up to seven. I want it to sizzle a little bit. Now all I really wanted to do was cook about three. And these three has left me about half of uh, what I started out with. So I'll go ahead and cook all three and leave the other two for afternoon snacks or something. But the whole point is, is uh, while you're in this quarantine and you're not supposed to be going out, you need to utilize your leftovers. I know there's a lot of people that just hate eating leftovers. I've never been one of them. I haven't had the luxury of being able to just throw stuff away. So uh, I've always tried to utilize capitalize, whatever eyes, use up the leftovers. So, so they're just poor boy way of eating. And right now, like I said, with it's not supposed to be getting out, you need to 
Use up everything that you can so you don't have to get up. Now, grant you, we would not have thrown these away. We would have been using them as a side dish with something else. Or I would have cooked up that boudin with uh, eggs or something. But sometimes I like to just throw stuff together. Sometimes it works out. Most times it does. Sometimes it don't. Now let's see if this bad boy is going to be sticking together at all. Actually it is. We're doing good there. I don't know if it's quite ready to flip. It almost got me, didn't it? Need just a little more brown. Yeah, see, I know he ain't done enough. Let me go to this first one that I put in here. Oh yeah, now that's more like the brown I want. Now that one I need to have to double check him. Let him cook another minute or two. This one didn't get quite as brown as I liked. That one did fine. Grandma's in there yelling at her dog. He wants to get in a chair with her, but then he starts acting like he can't jump. Goofy ass dog. Now, main thing you need to remember is we put raw egg in this. So we want to make sure that it gets done enough that it cooks the egg. Now, I debated on putting cheese in here when I was grabbing stuff out of the icebox. And I elected not because I was afraid the cheese would get to the outside and it would burn, overcook, whatever, before the eggs got done. So I'm not doing that. I debated on throwing a piece of sandwich cheese on top when I got done. I decided not to do that. Simply because we have lunch meats and stuff in there, I would rather save my sandwich cheese for sandwiches. Ain't that a silly thought? Now, I guess when I pull these out, I could sprinkle them with some of that shredded cheese. But I might just top it off with uh, some sour cream or something like that. That would probably go pretty good with this. So I might give it a dollop. Oh. Let me get that out while I'm thinking about it. Don't feel like there's much left in here. Yeah, there ain't. Let me see if I can find that new one. The new sour cream? Oh, wow. So this little bit we got here is it? Okay. Well, it sounded good. I couldn't hear you. Ranch. Oh, that one got good and done. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to flip him over again. Yeah. Come here a minute, Grandma. You ain't got to get in the video. This guy I'm going to go ahead and take up. I 
I'm going to call him done enough as well. And I'm going to go ahead and put these others in there. I want to turn my skillet down just a little bit, down to five. Uh, here's some sour cream. The camera's pointed this way. I can use the ranch and use. Well, it don't matter. It, it, I don't know which one would go with it. It's just a thought. Say hi to everybody. They can hear you back there. Hi, everybody. These are going to be a little bit smaller, as you can see. So I was incorrect on it taking about half of it for those three, but I wasn't too far off. Give it a taste and let us give us an honest opinion if it was a success or a failure. Tastes pretty good to me. Cool. So there y'all go. And you heard from Grandma. She test tasted it. Now one thing you got to know about me and Grandma is that we do not lie to each other about our foods. If we're trying something, uh, especially if we're trying something new, if it's crap, we tell each other that it's crap. We don't do that sugar-coated, don't want to hurt their feelings. Our theory is that if this turned out bad, then she don't want to tell me it's good and I make it for her again. So she has to eat the same bad meal twice. And vice versa. So which that blows a lot of people's mind because I have made some dishes that did not turn out and we've had company here, her brother and them actually, some of her family, and it was them uh, cherry chicken bombs. Yeah. And they was crap. And uh, I cooked them for, uh, I think that was your birthday party, wasn't it? I don't know. Whatever it was, gathering. some kind of gathering we had. Yeah. And uh, I'd asked her, I said, how are they? And she says, they're crap. Don't make these again. <laughs> Some of her people, they about fell out. Did you tell him? She said, yeah. I can't believe you told him. She said, I don't want him to fix it again. <laughs> this ain't good. I don't like it. <laughs> so, but that's a habit we've had for a long time. So, you know, one thing I can tell you, especially if you share cooking, then if somebody cooks something you don't like, you need to be honest with them. Now, if, uh, if you don't share that cooking, I don't know if I'd be telling my wife it tastes like crap and she's the only cooker. So, it works for us. I don't know if it'd work for y'all or not. Oh, that one didn't flip worth a damn. I hate trying to flip stuff. Guess I need to let it... But see, they're getting too done towards the middle, but not on the outside of that skillet. That one flipped better. Does it make a lunch, Mama? Good enough. She got her mouth full. She can't answer. All right, folks. There you go. Uh, I don't know what to call it. Doing something with leftovers. Hey. Y'all do something with yours. Let me know what you tried. Y'all remember, good Lord love you, and so do we. Y'all have a good day now. Grandma's waving at you. Bye.